Well guys, I think I've kind of come to a conclusion that I'm going to have to build an engine, a different engine for my short box that I was going to put the Hellcat in. So, um, if you guys, any of you guys have looked, I do, I got a, a playlist for doing the Hellcat swap and I've had quite a few people say that, oh, I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather see it with a Cummins in it, I'd rather see it with a Cummins in it. So I think that truck, or unless I can find another truck, I still got to build the engine and there's some stuff that I still need to do the Hellcat engine. Um, and I'll do videos about that as well, just because I'll be doing it. But I found the last piece of the puzzle to do my 6.7 P pump that I wanted to do. So I think that um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do for the P pump um, setup. So here is, I guess, the elusive 6.7 block. Lots of people say. They're not really that hard to find, but this one actually is special. And the reason for that is there isn't too many of these industrial applications, but not all the industrial applications have this. Um, and I actually honestly didn't even realize that I had this block until today. We were going through, um, these are just, um, we're actually reorganizing the shop and these are some of the blocks we just brought in into here. This is just a fraction of the blocks that I have ready to go. But this block has some light on it here for you guys. This block has a 360 thrust bearing. So usually your thrust bearing is just going to be this lower, lower section. This one actually has a 360 thrust. And some of the 5.9s had this. Um, the early... Um, the 305 horse, so the early common rail, some of them had this. And I believe there was some 12 valves, because I have seen a 12 valve with it. Um, but it's a it's a weird, you don't see it very often. And you don't really don't see it very often in in uh, in these ones. So um, when I seen this block, I thought, well, I guess that's the piece of the puzzle that I was kind of waiting for. I guess the tipping point, I guess you would say. So um, I have this block. I have lots of crankshafts. I have a cylinder head. Actually, let's maybe go out and take a quick look. I got a camshaft to put in it, uh, stage three Colt, um, because I'm not planning on doing crazy power with this thing. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe eight, 900 horsepower. Nothing crazy. It's in a short box, regular. It's gonna be in a regular cab short box truck. So it really doesn't need to be crazy power, like 800 horse and 14, 1500 foot pounds of torque. I think it'll be a rocket ship anyway, especially winging at 5,000. Um, so I have, I have, um, a, I don't know, I have a 215 horse and a 180 horse pump, both maxed and balanced. I'm not sure which one of those is I was going to use. Um, this is the head that I'm going to use. And the reason for that, I actually bought this head from a guy because um, he, he didn't want to use it. And... Most guys wouldn't use it. And I honestly probably wouldn't recommend it to most guys. As you can see that that cylinder is kind of like maybe a little on the right side. You can see it's kind of peppered. We didn't take a lot off the surface. I think it was six thou. Yeah, we wrote six thou on it. But you can see there again the surface kind of screwed up. Light might, like you said, the light's kind of bright there, but that's a pretty good shot. But we're going to put big valve seats in it. And I'll blend all that stuff in. And I think we'll be fine. Um, it'll be fine for me. Um, like I said, customer, different story. If something happens to my engine, it's not the end of the world. I just build another engine, right? But preferably not have it. But put big valve seats in and stuff, and we won't have an issue with it. So um, that being said, I guess that this is going to be the introduction video for doing a P-Pump 6.7. Um, I'm not sure exactly what size of injectors I'll be putting in it, but I will, uh, I'll be building the injectors. I'll be getting them from, um, the company that, um, is do doing my nozzles and helping me out with injectors. So it'll be probably a set of seven hole likely or something seven by, I don't know, maybe 16s. Nah, I don't even know if they'll be that big. We'll see. We'll see how big. But you guys will we'll see that all in the, the video. Um, this block is um, machined. 
um, and ready to go. Other than I will, I'll have to drill and tap and I'll show drilling and tapping that. Um, and maybe what I'll do is I'll show um, boring and honing a different block. Just so give you guys like right from start, right from start to finish um, doing it. But like I said, um, I had lots of guys asking about it, So I think that's what we're going to do. Or at the very least, I'm going to build this and I'll have it sitting on a stand ready to go. I have a steed manifold to put on it. Um, I don't have any turbos for it yet. But so in the next, I'm hoping... By mid-January, I have it completely together um, because I'd really like to put that truck together. And there again, I'm not just 100% sure if it's going to be... I'm leaning towards it's going to have a Cummins in it because lots of people are asking for the Cummins side of things. So we'll see what happens. Um, we got lots of stuff going on in the shop right now, so we're pretty busy. So it's kind of, you know, taking up... Just takes up, you know, extra time, I guess you would say, or I have to set, up, set aside time to be able to do it. Um, but hit me down up in the comments um, if you guys want to see the, the build. I'd imagine that that'll be a yes because I've had lots of people asking about it. Um, and then whether or not I should put the Hellcat in that truck or I, sh I should put the 6.7 in that truck. So the truck's a 96, well, it's a, I think it's a 90, 95 or 96, 95, yeah. 95, regular cab, short box. Right now it's two-wheel drive. I'd like to make it four-wheel drive. Um, just I'd rather it be four-wheel drive and I'm going to keep it relatively low. maybe a couple inches under stock. So hit me up in the comments whether you want to see the Hellcat in it, which is right there on the stand, um, or if you want to see P-Pump 6.7 in it. Either way, I'm going to build the P-Pump 6.7 because, well, they're cool. So either way, I'm going to build one. Um, so anyways, um, I'll leave it at that. And this is going to be the first video of this series, building P-Pump 6.7. All right, guys. Um, like I said, hit me up in the comments, subscribe, like, awesome. Thanks.